But all right, YouTube, like I told you, I'm back at you here, Derpity 420. And um, here's what we're going to do. Uh, this, I'm going to tell you right up front, put this in the watch later, uh, please, if you, if you don't got 15, 20 minutes on your hands. So here's what, um, what, what the motivation, let's start out with the motivation. Guys, I've been growing for about a year and less than a half. And it, you know, was okay for a minute because I had um, some relatives who used some money that I had from an inheritance um, and, and kind of kept me, you know, in, in a little bit of money while I've been growing here. And, um, but I've been real sick lately, YouTube. Um, they gave me about a year, you know. Um, and, uh, you know, that's depressing in and of itself and blah, 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 right? Well, okay, let's switch that up. In 2014, a drug was released that 100% cures what I have. Um, it's a, a dose that I believe it's a two or three month treatment thing, but then I never have to take another pill again. But after one week, they say I'm not going to feel sick anymore at all. And after one month, they won't be able to um, test with their equipment to show that I have any Hep C left in me. And I've got kind of a, a weird variety of that or something. I don't know. Not weird, but, you know, not the most common one or whatever. And this uh, particular drug, they've already done the DNA testing on me. They, they, they've done, you know, <laughs> so many tests. But um, all those tests have also showed that my liver is pretty much undamaged, which for my lifestyle at 48, that surprises the shit out of me. But um, And none of my other organs are having any problems at all. So it looks like I got some time on my hands. Um, so time to tell you guys a little bit about me. I've mentioned a few things in the past, but... Um, I did about 18 years in the mortgage industry. I was um, production manager for the west half of Michigan for the largest mortgage bank to ever exist in this state. Um, prior to that, I was in home improvements. I still hold a national sales record with the largest home improvement company, Paysetter Corporation, to ever exist in this country. Um, nobody broke it in 20-some years after I did it. Um, I one time invented a part that's on every car that Ford sells in Europe. Um, when uh, when I split up with my wife, she threw away the letter that I had from the Vice President of Research and Development Ford Motor Company and the prototype that they sent me that goes on, again, every car that's driven in Europe made by Ford. Um, took me, by the way, guys, the table full of 12, uh, 12 engineers and the Vice President, old 80-year-old guy with his pants up around his nipples, um, uh, took me about 25 seconds to, to solve their problem. and. If anybody ever wants to hear that little story, it's a good one. But uh, actually, I was on my way back at that point. Um, I had uh, gotten involved with uh, uh, NSA water filters, and instead of going door to door, I was on my way back from driving to Rite Aid, Pennsylvania, and selling 1,745 of them in one shot to Rite Aid. So I've always thought big, guys. I, I'm not a small ball player. Um, uh, and good for the guys that are, but let's, let's face it, um, let's talk about the big picture here. So, you're new, and you have a card from your state that says you're legal to grow. Now what? Right? Okay? Everybody wants to just get in your pocket, guys. Okay? They want to sell you, buy this $300 CD set, or belong to this thing, or watch this thing. And to be honest with you, you don't have a damn clue if any of this shit works, or... or if you're even capable of understanding the terminology or if you're whatever, right? So let's just skip forward and say it's bullshit how you got to learn how to grow your meds that your state says you can legally do. Pause. Now, yesterday, the House of Representatives of the United States of America passed a bill that says, hey, DEA, if this is licensed by their state and they're inside of their state's guidelines, you cannot touch them. Please, guys, call your senators Monday. Email your senators today, right, um, and tell them they better pass that shit and not start tagging a whole bunch of other crap onto it. Grab that bill, pass that bill. Um, everybody knows that in this midterm election, the guys that are for uh, legalized marijuana are going to win. The guys that are against it are not going to win. Doesn't matter about your abortion standpoint. Doesn't matter about anything else. Every single person out there that, that's talking about what do campaign managers need to focus on right now, that's your issue for the midterm elections. Get on the phone, get on your emails, and do that. 
But let's get back off the pause button to what we were talking about. So in my marketing background, when I was managing the retail mortgages, I also worked in wholesale for, for quite a while. Um, and I've worked for, for several banks as assistant vice president. But um, uh, uh, by the way, I never worked at a bank where I didn't make more than every vice president there and had the most customer satisfaction cards at one point, at bank, you combine everybody else's cards, my stack was bigger than all of them combined. Not trying to brag, this isn't hubris, trying to tell you who's talking at you, YouTube. So, so what I'm trying to show you guys here is you're an asset. When you get that card, you're an asset. That's, that's a commodity, all right, that nobody out there is taking advantage of, all right? So I'd like to start up a website right now. Um, and it will be launched within the next 30 days. The more um, uh, support that I can get from some of the bigger growers on this, um, the better it is for me to take it to the investment people and to really launch this thing 100% the way it needs to be done. Um, I'm having a very difficult time getting anybody to pay attention to me that has more than about 7,000 subscribers. And if me to go in and talk to the big money guys, I got to have one person with 35,000 subs going with Mr. Tight, that gets a hold of me on this. Um, but here's the idea, here's the concept. We're going to have regional packages developed. When you buy that package of equipment um, that you're going to need to grow medical grade marijuana right out the gate. Stop, don't laugh, here we go. Those packages sold in Arizona are going to be different than the equipment sold to people up in Maine, all right? The, the advisor that's going to be assigned to you is going to be different in Arizona than it's going to be up in Michigan, okay? Um, you're going to have a Michigan uh, a consultant assigned to you in Michigan for Michigan grows. You're going to have somebody in Arizona assigned to you that grows in Arizona. And I understand that in certain parts of Colorado, you're in the mountains. In certain parts of Colorado, you're in the desert. So it's going to be a regional thing. I'm not going to say it's state by state, but you're going to have somebody in that exact climate scenario that's going to be helping you, right? Now, when a company goes to sell a product, they have a marketing department. That marketing department divides their ways of contacting things into cold advertising, warm advertising, and hot advertising. A hot lead is somebody that's already bought your equipment and is 100% satisfied with that equipment. And that's when you get emails from HP after you register your HP printer that says, oh, buy a billion things from HP because you're now... A, a, a hot lead. You own their product, you're familiar with the company, and you know, they so far and you know, delivered, in their opinion, a good product to you. So when you go to make that initial purchase, what my pitch is to these companies is they're going to deduct that initial lead cost right from your initial package. Thus, you're going to be able to buy your product below wholesale your first time. Your first package will be cheaper than your local hydro store could buy that product for. And the basis of that is volume, obviously, right? Now, the bigger we get, the more power that that, that buyer's club, if you will, becomes, right? You're also going to have um, the ability to um, be given a DVD for that region that tells you how to set up those newts, that soil, that light kit, that whatever, right? And it's going to give you instructions on what to do on your first week, on your second week, on your third week. So that if and when you have a problem, right, and you contact your consultant or consultant group, however that's going to end up, right, you're going to get feedback that doesn't start like this. Okay, well, what are you using for nutrients, and how are you doing for light, and what about this, and you didn't tell me about that, and how can I gotta solve your problem if you don't do the the the? and you feel like an asshole, okay? Not going to happen. This guy already knows what we sent you. This guy already knows what you've been doing because he assumes or she assumes that you're going to be following the instructions on the DVD. At which point, fixing your problem, that's a snap. So that's kind of the guts of it. I've got a whole lot more. I don't want to bore the living death out of everybody here, but I'm going to ask that at least one person that's been growing for more than three years and has a channel out there that has more than 30,000 viewers, please get a hold of me because um, 
we got something here that we can do a really good thing for the community. We can change how people grow. We can stop turning them into a wallet and into a commodity, right? And, and actually act as a community. You know, the chat group I want to set up, similar to something like the Social Grow has, is real popular. People like to chat about their plants and talk about what they're doing. Of course they do. But you won't, you know, have to listen to this guy say this or this guy say that because the only people that are going to be allowed to give growers advice are going to have a certified symbol next to their name. And I would hope that there'd be one on 24 hours a day so that they could kind of both monitor and, you know, whatever what's going on. And if there is an open question or debate about something, that there is somebody always on there that's able to feel that and that is a certified person in that, you know, um, you know, for, for that group. So, so that was just one other piece. Any feedback on that, guys? I sure would appreciate it. And if you could share this video so that we can get that out there to a few folks. If you think this is the right way to go, I think it is. Let me know. We'll see if we can't fit you in there somehow. Y'all be good. Peace.